It's 95.5 KLOS, Southern California's rock station. I am Marcy, and I am here with Metallica's Kirk, Mother Effin Hammett. How are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> now that, uh, you know, it's just, I've had about four cups of coffee in me. Yeah, well, you kind of need it. you got a busy schedule going on right now. Man, I do need it because, like, it's crazy. You know, you get up, and then, like, less than an hour later, people are asking you a million questions, and they they expect long, drawn-out answers, you know, much like what, what we're, what doing, we're doing right, right now. now. And, you know, you just got to rise to the occasion, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? Kind of what you do. And thank you for not doing the yes or no answers. Uh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I, I get a lot of flack from just doing that, so I try not to do it. Did you catch any waves this morning? Do any no, surfing? you know, uh, 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 I didn't have time, but uh, but last week I I, I had some time and uh, I surfed three days and it was just phenomenal, like it always is. You know? Yeah, surfing is just like, you know, it doesn't matter if the waves are one foot or ten feet. You know, it's just like it's just a great experience, kind of like playing in a band and, and playing on stage, you know, it doesn't matter if there are 10 people in that audience or 10,000 people, it's just a great experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's you and Robert that, that are the surfers, yeah? yeah? Robert gets out there every day, pretty yeah. for the most part? We know, we, we surf when we can, our, our schedule is super busy, but I mean, we love to, to hit up places that we know have, have waves, like, you know, Portugal has a ton of places mm. to surf. You got some big, big waves there. Real big waves, and yeah. like, and Australia is always always great too because there's just you know there's so much coastline, and so we we kind of like go off, and we surf in Florida, down here SoCal a lot. Where's your favorite spot here, SoCal? Uh, you know, yeah, it, it's uh, how how about I just say it's south of Malibu? Okay? <laughs> you don't want to give away the, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a like, secret. Well, you know. If, <laughs> There's a code among surfers, and you, you just don't want to give away too much Understood. info, you know. <laughs> yeah, Understood. Well, it's yeah. about to be a really busy year for you. May as well just call it the year of Metallica 2023. You guys have so much going on. You got yes. the new album dropping uh, this week. We got the global premiere happening this week. You got mm -hmm. a couple nights at SoFi. You're doing the residency with Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Here's the chair. We're sitting in the Jimmy yeah, Kimmel yeah, chairs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Power Trip mm -hmm. coming up in the fall. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And I love it, you know. It's uh, it's going to be a year of a lot of great musical activity, and I'm like, bring it on because after the last three years of like not doing anything, right? We're all pretty hungry and excited, mm -hmm. and just want to get on stage and bring the music to the people because I mean, well, that's what we're here to do is right. to make music and bring it to the people. And as you know, during the last two or three years we weren't able to do that uh, in, a, in a way that we wanted to but now we can and we're super super excited about it you had a lot of time to write though and focus on things musically yeah huh? yeah yeah we had a lot of time to write uh, and yeah, uh, uh, a lot of time to just be creative and mm -hmm. I, I think it really shows on this album and you know it, it being separated like that and forcibly not being able to be together I think uh, put an impression on us because when we got together we played with the fury mm -hmm. and we wrote some great stuff that kind of encapsulated all that anger and frustration and then when we started recording we we played with the fury yet again and it was I, I think this album does a good good job of just capturing that emotion or emotions that we were everyone was going through. yeah yeah I agree start to finish it's incredible yeah, yeah. what a great outlet yeah. During totally. a time like this. And, you know, it's it's kind of, a, you know, it's telling that there isn't any ballads on this mm -hmm. album. Yeah, well, yeah <laughs> you know, that's true. That, that, that says a lot right there. <laughs> there's some nice groove going on. Some yeah, of these songs are great. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, for us, it's it, it's all about just groove, mood, and atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And and if we have have that the, that those elements covered in, in anything we're doing, I mean, we're ahead of the game for sure. You guys are about to hit the road for the M72 World Tour. It's about to get really crazy. Uh, Amsterdam, too. What a happy place to yep. start things off. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like Amsterdam quite Amsterdam. a bit. Amsterdam. <laughs> it's such a brilliant idea. I mean, who came up with this? Did you guys call a meeting and say, let's do something really unique, and what are we going to do here? You got two two nights, mm -hmm. two different sets, mm -hmm. different openers, some great openers on board. You know, it's kind of crazy because when we start talking about this, we're half like, kidding yeah and we're half like you know just like using our, our our imaginations and we're we're half serious so 
when things start to come into fruition and all of a sudden we have this huge stage and this huge set this <laughs> and like the reality is like literally knocking on our front doors or kind of going uh what do we get ourselves yeah. into and you know no one's ever done anything on this mm -mm. scale or mm -mm. anything like this before so there's no precedent there's no looking at anyone else to see you know where they 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 mm -hmm. succeeded or, or, or did not succeed and so we're pretty much going out there and hoping that it works right you know and we've been in this situation before <laughs> <laughs> i hate to say it but we're in the same situation now and we're all collectively crossing our fingers but you know there's a a, a, a an incredible thing that happens once we start playing the music and the music becomes the glue that seems to bring everything together in the performance and that's what i'm counting on you know walk out on stage and it might be a little overwhelming at first you know where's the monitors oh where's that spot you know where's my wall pedal geez but then that one two three four mm. and then something takes over and it's almost like we're super super cognizant we're super aware super perceptive you know we have our, our focus totally completely in the moment and all of a sudden everything seems seems to fall into place you know and so that's that's my hope <laughs> how often does it do you just when you're out there you just kind of go with it do you do you improvise, I improvise all the time lot, all the time yeah. and you know it's just like we were playing you know playing jimmy kimmel's show all week and i just had to sit down to my sit down and look at my songs and say to myself well you know how much improvising do i want to do and then i thought ah oh, you know it's just like uh i'll just save it for the live show because that's that's when the, the real like you know heat of the moment comes mm -hmm. so yeah i'm saving it but for me it's just like it makes every single song different for me and hopefully for the people the fans yeah, yeah who, who come to see the shows and you know it's something different to offer it's not the same old thing right and um you know, i'm just a big a, a big proponent of improvised music and making music in the moment and an incredible guitarist well my gosh i guess you're trying. you're doing okay kirk and i'm still <laughs> working on it <laughs> A portion of the proceeds from the M72 World Tour are going to go towards your foundation, the All Within My Hands Foundation. Yes. What a great foundation yeah. for the community. It's very diverse. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we, just, we just want to go out there and help people on a lot of different levels, you know. Mm -hmm. We want to help people who need help mm -hmm. immediately. We want to want to help people focus on, on, on building a, you know a career for themselves you know a lifestyle we want to focus on being able to to uh, like bring our attention to any sort of situation international global that needs help yeah you know and f and for me you know it's just like you know, whatever we can do to the contribute to the well-being of everyone, you know, I'm all for it. And I believe that that's what our music is here for. But, you know, All Within My Hands is an extension of that. And it's a, it's cool because it reaches places that our music yeah. can't reach, you know, which is like, you know, all those corporate offices, right. you know, or like weird corners yeah. of the world we're experiencing like flooding you know there's like whole villages you know yeah. they're not aware of us but hey we're aware of them we can go in and help them mm -hmm. and for me it really means so much so how often when you're out on that stage do you look out at all the fans and say god we have come such a long way since our garage days damn <laughs> <laughs> you know it's it, it's weird because i you know i believe that we are you know, every age we ever were yeah you know we could still be that now because we were that then or there now and so sometimes the 18 year old kirk shows up in me <laughs> and i look around and i think wow <laughs> this is everything that i pictured it would be in my 15 year old head you know i i would picture being on stage in a stadium you visualized you visualize it yeah well now that i know a little bit more about that kind of thing you know what i was doing back then was i was actually manifesting 100 my, my future and you know i believe in manifestations like that and 
a hundred percent i you know i was manifesting my future and it it, it came to be and yeah. I'm, I'm really just fortunate and i feel blessed and thankful and and because of that, because I'm, I'm put in this position, I feel like I should always do what I am doing. You know, and I should always be playing music, writing music, performing music, because that's what I do. And I put, I've been put in a, a very exalted position to be doing that, and 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 a position that reaches, again, you know, internationally, and that that is so special for me. Yep. And thank you, whoever was responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Power Trip Festival. This was just announced. You guys, this isn't the first time that you've played the Empire Polo Grounds. You did, go. let's go back to 2010. Yeah. The, the big, big four. Big four. Yeah, yeah. Slayer, Megadeth, Anthrax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was a, a pretty cool thing, you mm-hmm. know. Very, uh, very sentimental, you know, those feelings about the, uh, about the big four. And, you know, it was great. It was our moment. Right. You know. The four bands. It was our moment. Yeah, and it was a very, very special thing. Right. And so you know, fast forward to Power Trip uh, this time yeah. around. It's going to be really cool, and I'm so stoked that we're playing with my bros in Tool. I oh, mean, that's going to be killer. Oh, it's Night gonna be three. Great. It's yeah, going to be it, so good. It's it's great because you know I'm a big fan of their music, and you yeah, know, I love those guys. Yeah, I, I just and. You know, particularly Adam, Adam and I, Adam Jones, guitar player, and mm-hmm. I, we, we relate on so many different levels, you know, artwork, music, you know, just attitude, whatever, you know. Kindred spirits. We, uh, absolutely. And so I'm really, really stoked for that. It's going to be great. <laughs> so uh, you guys are always evolving, doing some cool stuff. Through the yeah. Never is kind of a, an example of that, kind yeah. of a just long ass music video. Yeah, yeah. Those are the long, <laughs> longest, most expensive ass <laughs> music video. I think we're still paying for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and on a side note, I noticed you had a, a white zombie sticker on your guitar. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you must be a fan of, of white zombie. Uh, well, there's, there, let me just clarify. White zombie was a, a movie from 1932 that Bela Lugosi uh, uh, starred uh-huh. in. And I'm a big fan. Love of Love your horror flicks. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that movie. And, you know, Lugosi's uh, character is super, super cool. His character's named Murder Legendar. And, you know, my guitar is a tribute to that mu- movie. Sorry, Rob. But, you know, it's just like, it's a, it's a great movie. Okay. And I recommend it to anyone who's in, into that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I hope you guys will continue to give us these rocking experiences. Yeah, how heck yes. you know, is, yeah. How we're, many, not, we're not done yet. How many? No, hell no. How many guitars do you own? Uh, I don't know. And Have you lost count a long time ago? <laughs> well, what I, I really try to do is I try to keep them under a workable number because you know I have I have my peers out there mm. and you know they're just as obsessed with guitar playing as I am and collecting and gear and whatnot and they have upwards of four to five hundred guitars and they're fine with that and, and you know that's cool mm-hmm. but I I just have this thing you know. I, I need to feel like I, I can play the guitars that I own. So I try to keep the, the number of guitars under 100. And I have my core collection of like, you know, 30 guitars. They're, they're in my house, you know, always available, always two or three feet mm. away. I just grab it, you know, pl- and, and play them. And so I'm not that, uh, that, that big uh, 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 an owner of like m- multiple, multiple, multiple instruments. Rooms and rooms full rooms, of guitars. Rooms, rooms. Because, I, like I said, you know, I believe guitars should be played. And if there's guitars that I, I know I'll never get to, I'll either end up donating them, giving them away, or selling them anonymously. Raw, okay. Yeah. So, you know, be on the lookout there, for those anonymous guitars. There might guitars. be so, so someone buying a, a oh. guitar on reverb. <laughs> and, 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 you know, <laughs> it might be my guitar, but they will never know. Reverb. Reverb. Taking notes, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, not to get all spiritual, but maybe I kind of want to get spiritual. Yeah. At this point in your life, this has been your journey. It's a pretty amazing one. What is it at this point in your life that you need to feel completely satisfied and fulfilled? Not that you're not already. Well, you know, for me, I mean, okay. So, so I meditate, and I meditate a lot. I meditate, you know, sometimes a couple hours a day. And uh, I've been meditating for about 25 years now. And, you know, 
my my beliefs and my outlook on, on, on meditation has is pretty pretty uh, extreme. Mm-hmm. I would say I'm, I've come to believe that meditation is what we are, and when we're not meditating, that is like the dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And I've come to the conclusion that that you know meditation is pure consciousness, and everything is pure consciousness. And I also believe in unity of being which means that we're all all connected but even more than that we're all the same being Uh, i believe that and and i believe that with my heart and uh and so you know it, it really dictates how i i am day to day and how i treat people because if i believe that we're all connected and we are all one then when I talk to you, I'm t- basically talking to myself. We're the same. Yeah, and, yeah. and when you look yeah. at me and into yeah. my eyes, you know, you're seeing a version of yourself back. I mean, that's how deep I believe it is. And I also believe that consciousness, what people believe is, is you know, our soul or our spirit, it's energy. And energy is never destroyed. It just changes. Right. And so I, I believe that consciousness is everything and eternal. And being in present and in the moment contains all the possibilities that are available in life. Mm, I love that. Yeah. And so, you know, that's what I believe. And if people want to find out more, what I, the, the, there's a name for, for what I believe in. It's called non-duality. Okay. Or or idealism. Mm-hmm. You're right. So it's, it's relatively new school of thinking that that's based on on teachings that go back two thousand years or so. But non duality today says that you don't need to go into a cave for thirty years and meditate. You can do it if you have the the right guidance in ten minutes, and that is huge. Any good books you recommend? Oh yes. The Direct Path by Rupert Spira. There we go. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Book changed my life. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Very cool. Yeah. Well, all right. Let's go back to, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, I really love talking about spirituality. Mm-hmm. And I know my spirituality can be very, very challenging for people. And some people just like, huh? But if you're saying, huh? And you, you, you're curious, it's Can, worth looking in, into. In, yeah, investigate research cool all right so uh, let's go back to 96 97 load reload that was a different flavor for metallica for a little while you had a different look going on yeah uh, during that time what uh, what do you think about that era that era for metallica how did that shape metallica's future you know the 90s were probably uh, you know it's weird because we started the 90s with a real bang with the black album and then you know load and reload and we had a lot of lot of success you know selling lots of albums selling tons of tickets and the climb was 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 getting bigger and bigger but you know i have to say instead of us like you know really really supporting that and getting getting behind that we just took it upon ourselves to just be as hedonistic and just like as crazy as we could possibly be in the 90s it was nuts when i look back at (laughs) some of the things we got up to in the 90s you know i'm like i have to wipe my brow there for a second you know but you know musically I, i i think we were playing exactly what we needed to play in the 90s because the musical landscape in the 90s was kind of weird you know again it started off with like the, with grunge mm-hmm. and, and then it morphed into this kind of like weird like funk metal thing that eventually just kind of like morphed into something completely different you know and for us we were we were changing too and we morphed too we morphed from the black album to load and, and you know that was kind of like our absorption of, of the musical atmosphere from the 90s but 
you know, having said that, I think Load and Reload are two really great albums that complement each other really, really well. And it seems that, you know, th there's a type of a Metallica fan that sees that era as really, really great. And yeah. It's their fa favorite era for a lot of people. And there are bands out there who, who, who say, yeah, we've been, in we're inspired by the Load Reload era of Metallica, not, you know, right, the flashy yeah. era era of metallica and for me to hear that i'm like yeah. that's pretty cool speaks to people differently yeah yeah, yeah. you know that's great mm -hmm. I, I would say job done yeah you know? absolutely yeah so uh at nikki six has recently said that he wants to keep touring until the year 2031 which that's the same year for you guys you would turn 50 he wants to make it to the 50th I mean, is that the plan here i well, sure hope so metallica's i, I, I hope so because yeah I, i'd like to work <laughs> i like okay it's like this i play my guitar every well every day and i might as well be doing it in situations where i can get paid right <laughs> absolutely <laughs> you've mastered it <laughs> yeah, so there you go <laughs> okay so very excited to see you at power trip some ticks are still available right now powertrip.live huge lineup as we talked about gnr maiden acdc ozzy acdc has been kind of quiet lately and ozzy i'm glad he's coming out of retirement for this and then you guys on night three metallica and tool are you going early or are you going to be watching some of the bands you know i still still haven't decided but i actually would really like to see all three days you yeah know, because it's a, it's such a great lineup and like, right no one sucks on that bill no <laughs> no <laughs> far from far from it's gonna be well we're gonna be broadcasting live from a swanky airbnb so i you, i'm officially inviting you to swing by say hello we'll send a car whatever you need airbnb <laughs> we will be there. there oh i'm sure all right pool like jacuzzi it. yeah it's gonna be great <laughs> can we talk about the marching band contest i'm yeah. serious this yeah. is <laughs> yeah. so this is a thing it is you guys thing. have this marching band yeah. contest that marching band contest yeah have you witnessed this live i've seen virginia tech ro run out to you know inner sandman and yeah, you know, I stadium goes nuts I've actually seen it live you know but you know i've, I've, I've seen it <laughs> television and you know i've heard heard about it and seen the footage online and now it's, you know it's a pretty cool thing safe to say you guys have your hands in everything <laughs> <laughs> seems like <laughs> so the new record 72 seasons is out friday i'm digging track four a lot sleep sleepwalking oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. sleepwalk my wife, life away sleepwalking my life away. track two is good i start to finish the album's fantastic it, it is a bit of a surprise to us mm. how, how how much people are reacting to this album you know mm. the response is, has been great and we're, we're feeling the love yeah i mm. mean it's just like it's a big surprise to all to all of us and robert got to lay down some vocals for the first time i know he's excited about that yeah and rob's contribution to this band is just uh, you know these days it's, it's, it's huge i mean yeah. some of the best music or i should say some of my favorite parts of this album are are are, 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 are parts that rob wrote and, mm -hmm. and i'm just like blown away actually yeah very cool well yeah i highly recommend this album pick it up as soon as it drops uh, and stranger things just wanted to mention really quick you guys master of puppets has always been huge yeah but this took it to a whole other level are you guys going to contribute to the next season well, you know, we're waiting for that phone to, to ring. ring, and it probably will. Yeah. But <laughs> Let's I put it out there. Say, man, watching that whole sequence, I instantly thought, wow, this is the music video for Master of Puppets that we never made. Right. <laughs> <laughs> did, have you, did you watch? Yeah, I mean, it's such a potent use of our music, yeah. too. I mean, it really just, like, fits the scene. And, you know... It really encapsulates the power of metal. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Well, I'm being told we got to wrap this. Kirk Hammett has been my guest. Metallica, check out their global premiere of 72 Seasons at Cinemas Across SoCal. You can get a copy of 72 Seasons on Friday. See them for two shows this summer at SoFi and then Power Trip in October. Can't yeah. wait for that. Yeah. And if you're in marching band, hit up MetallicaMarchingBand.com. Man, you're going to need a nap. Yeah. You're so busy. Yeah, you so I know. guess I better let you go. Hey, you know, it's just like... <laughs> This is what I do. It's what you do. This is what I do. So I don't, I, I, I don't complain. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Thanks so much, Kirk. All right. Thank you.